Hi there, this is Relly Girl. Welcome to my first Saturday stream. I'm going to be doing Saturday streams from now on, starting at 12 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And if there's ever a time that I can't stream, I will let you know on Twitter. So I recommend that you go to my Twitter page, Relly Girl, and follow me there. So I've been working around the castle here a little bit, and I'm going to jump into build mode and show you a little bit of what I've done. I've been working on that Wi-Fi glitch. I think that's what the school zone started calling this glitch. Hi, Nick. Nice to see you. Welcome. Okay, I'll show you what I've done as far as putting lights in with this Wi-Fi glitch that I learned from school zone. Hi, Wayne. Welcome to the stream. So I've ended up using only one wire so far and I have wired my radio transmitter. It actually has to have a wire, but if you notice, this little guy here in the middle doesn't have a wire. He's all alone, no wires. Up here, I went ahead and put a conduit or two. I can't remember how many. Maybe it was the third floor. I don't think there's any there. Third floor, I had to stick a couple up here somewhere. Oh, in the middle, to get my power going up here. Isn't that so cool? Wiring those things like that. Um, I've got my barber shop all done. Hello there, Ace. Nice to see you. Come through here. Look at this. All I did was put my Wi-Fi conduit on the wall there. So I'm leaving that in the middle of everything right now so that I can keep wiring everything. And pretty soon we'll have this whole place done. And it'll look so cool. In here I did the same thing. This one here took two... So this is really cool. You can turn, well, I can't in build mode, of course, but you can turn these on and off in here, which is kind of cool, but I had to have two of them. Anyway, so today we're going to be outside and I'm going to be building out back here a little bit. I'll show you. Okay. On past everything here. There's this great area out here. I need to get rid of a lot of these rocks, so I'll work on that. But I'm thinking a house up here would be really cool. We could put the fish farm out here and maybe another dock with a fishing boat out here as well. So I'm gonna start cleaning some of this stuff out of here. So I can see how big of an area this really is. This is gonna be cool. Um, can I get rid of those? Yes. This scrapping mod I love lets you scrap so much. Some things you can't, but I think the bigger rocks are going to be the problem. So some of these smaller ones I can't get rid of are going to be fine. Let's see. Over here I could probably get rid of a few of these smaller things. Um, if I think they're going to be in the way. I really, I really don't think those will. Maybe I'll just leave these for now little decoration but this is looking good I just can't get rid of that but look at this out here this is incredible and then over here on this side is where the water treatment plant hangs out so I'm thinking Right here in the middle, this big watery area, this is where I'll put our fish farm. I'm probably going to do a couple of them. So I've got to go to G2M. And I've got to remember where the heck it is. There it is. And I can't remember exactly where everything is right now. I've got to search for it. So maybe I'll go to construction and go through. No, I don't think that was it. I'll find it eventually. Was it Far Harbor? Here we go. The fish farm. So we've got these really cool nets. And then different kinds of the fish farm. I'm going to turn God mode on so I don't have to worry about trying to find everything. Hi there, Nathan. Welcome to the stream. 
So these are really cool. You can have the blue, or you can have the ones that look like the radioactive barrels, or you can have red. I'm probably gonna go with the blue. I kind of like how that matches. So out here somewhere, I need to place these, and it's kind of tough to tell what height I want them at. And I want to make sure they're actually out here a little bit. That's not as far out as I wanted, so maybe out here. That's probably good. Do these snap to each other? They do. So, I don't think I want them to snap though, but that's a really cool feature. I would like to get them where they look halfway even. In the water. About the same height. Because maybe we can make a little bridge between them. That's pretty good. I might turn this one just a little more. Like that. Then we can stick the nets in there. These are kind of hard to place, so I'm probably just going to have to place it and try again. And I think that I need to turn surface snap off. So it'll snap in there. Where is it snapping? I don't understand where it's snapping. I can place it myself. That's no biggie. And the little fish, I love it. The fish are in there swimming already. Whoops, I moved the wrong darn thing. Let's get out of here. Wish you could use the jetpack to get out of the water like that. Here. Darn it. Let's go this way some more. I feel like this just isn't quite where I want it to be, so maybe if I drop it down some more here, that's going to help me. There we go. That's better. Alright, where was this trying to snap? In between. That's really strange. I'm wondering if you place these first, if that this little guy will snap over it. It might. I used these before in my sanctuary build. I just don't remember. It's been so long. I did that in like April, maybe? So I don't remember. But that's okay. I'm getting it. Just a little bit of moving around here. I love the fish effect, though. That is just the coolest thing ever. So that looks good. This one's pretty good. I think I'm happy with it. Yeah. So, let's see if we can get these with something across. Look at that. That's pretty neat. I don't have them spaced out incredibly well, but it snaps right in there perfectly. That's good. Now we need some way to get over there so we don't have to get in the ratty water. So I'm thinking maybe that would work. Let's see if another one works. Hi there, Loco Runner. Welcome to the stream. Let's see. I think these are probably going to work. I may need to do a little step or ramp or something. That one's perfect. This one here needs a little something on the end. One more is probably going to be too much, but I want to see. Actually, that's not bad. I think I'll do that. And look at the little seagulls. Aren't they cute? They never go away. Well, that's looking pretty cool for the fish farm. I want to jump up here and see how it looks. And when I say jump, I mean fly. Look at that! That's pretty cool! One of these sides, probably... This side, I'll do a little dock. And I'm seeing now how close I am over here. But I don't think I'm gonna let that bother me. We'll pretend these boats can get in and out of there. 
quite easily, right? Right. <laughs> okay, Doc. I'm going to do the exact same thing I used over there. Over here. Oh yeah, and I was also thinking... I wanted to put lights out there, but I got to think about that. I don't, I don't know what kind of lights yet, so I won't worry about that right now. Okay, where are my docks? Oops, it's in G2M. Pier Beach. These little ones. I like these. Hi, Gilby. Welcome to the stream. Good to see you. Over here-ish, maybe. <laughs> That's a new word, here-ish. These are tricky. I never remember how they snap, so I'm gonna have to play with it till I can get them where I want them to snap. So that doesn't snap on there. What does? That snaps on. That's an end. Can I put more ends on? I don't know. These confuse me so. I don't think the end's gonna let me do anything. Hi there, Loco Runner. And Gilby, that's okay. I'm gonna be streaming every Saturday from now on as much as I possibly can at 12 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. If there's ever a time that I can't stream, I'm going to put it on Twitch. I'm not Twitch. Uh, Twitter. So be sure to follow me on Twitter so that you know what my plans are. I'm going to start using Twitter more. I'm getting a few more followers on there. So I'm going to start putting my schedules and things out on Twitter. And I'm Rally Girl on Twitter as well. Let's see. How's this going to work? I love how that runs right into the water off the thing there. So you don't need any kind of extra little step or anything. That's cool. Now I've got to find those boats. Uh, where were those boats? I'm pretty sure I had them in my miscellaneous stuff. It's a little slow. I have a lot of mods that have to load. Okay, I'm gonna wait for it for a second. Hi, Fantasy Island girl. Welcome. You don't play Fallout 4 anymore? I don't know if I'll ever be able to stop. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh, here we go, boats. They're usually right here in the front somewhere. I like these red ones, so I'm going to put a red boat out. I'm just going to place it first so I can get away from it. Okay, where do I want my boat? Let's drag it out here a little bit. Oh, cool, you have a pet seagull? Oh, neat. I'm thinking this needs to go down a little more into the water. There we go. That's kind of cool. I'm just going to go with one boat out here since we have most of our other ones over there at the docks. And I love how that looks. That is so cool. And I think this is far enough in the water. It looks good to me. Oh man, you lost your Xbox? Oh gosh. We lost our Xbox 360 here a while ago and we saved up forever and got an Xbox One. But I'll tell you what, we've already had that thing for so long. It's old. Oh my gosh, it's old. Okay, well, I think that's good for this. It's looking pretty cool. I need to get my house built. So it's going to be in the shade here. I don't know if changing the time of day is going to help with that or not. I'll try just to see. So, do my little cheat here. Let's see, let's try like 8 a.m. and see what happens. 
There we go. We're back in the sun. Awesome. So it rises this side of the castle. Sets on the other. Awesome. That works. Okay, so I have this idea for this house I want out here. It's kind of the same thing that I built when I did my Fens settlement tour. It was called the Settlement at the Fens, I think. I worked for a few weeks on that behind the scenes and released that little video. It was a little immersive tour thing. I think it was my very first immersive tour buildo, bi buildo <laughs> video <laughs> that I ever did. And I love how it turned out. So if you want to watch that, Go find that. It's in one of my playlists. I think it's under the Rebuild the Wasteland series or something like that. So let's see. Um, I probably need to get back to USO because USO moves all of your stuff to that. So let's see. Um, these This floor is so unstable out here or so uneven. I think I'm going to have to do this. We're going to do it as close as we can get it. I don't want it touching the castle, but pretty close. Is that running right? Yes. So this house here that we're building can be for the person who is running this place out here, running the fish farm. That could be his little boat. I want these all running the same way. My weather's turning crappy, I can tell. Oh no, did I do that wrong? Oh, do I have them all wrong? Wait a minute, what? Oh, I started out the correct direction and then <laughs> moved them wrong. Let's just do this. Oh yeah, I know that. Isn't that funny, ASAP? So many people still play this game. I wonder what will happen when Fallout 76 comes out. I still want to play Fallout 4. I'm probably never going to stop. But I definitely want to try 76 as well. Um, I've heard that the building is really cool. It's pretty much the same, probably. Alright, this is looking like I want it to look so far, I think. I wanted to do two by, was it four or three? Two by four, I think, yeah. Kind of a longer house. It's going to be a two-story, so it'll look pretty cool right here up against this thing. Now, as far as a porch, I'm not going to use the shack foundation thing there. I want this one. So we'll go right about here. I think that's good. Okay. Oh no, I believe you about the seagull. That's really cool. That's a good thing that you did to save that little guy. Or girl. <laughs> how old am I? You don't ever ask a girl how old she is. She's not going to answer. <laughs> Let's change this weather. I like to do... Whoops, not two. I like to do the Commonwealth weather code makes it real nice and bright again okay I gotta think for a second here think I'm gonna have steps coming up the side here so let me I guess put these steps on so I don't forget and I'm gonna have to be pretty tall Okay, I'm looking at chat and I'm trying to build at the same time. Gets a little tough, doesn't it? Am I 50? What kind of a question is that? <laughs> no, I'm not 50. <laughs> That's funny. This little house here that I'm building, I'm not going to put windows in it because... I like how it looks from the outside without windows. So I'm just putting up all of my floors on the bottom. All my walls, I mean. 
Then I'm going to put my steps probably right back here to go up to the second level. This area down here is going to be pretty much open. I might have one room as a bathroom maybe. I don't know. I'm not sure. <laughs> you go mad playing, Gilby? Yeah, I understand. I love to build in this, but it's frustrating because I want it all to look so nice and clean and pretty. <laughs> it takes me a while to get it all done. The decorating part is the part that takes forever, but it's my favorite part. Okay, second floor. I want to put like the kitchen on the second floor. It's kind of different. Where are my floors for the second level? Mm, I think I want that. Not that one. I think I want the one that doesn't have it. Just stick it up there where I want it myself. So we'll run these. Where do I want my steps? Further back, I think. Down here, it would be really cool to kind of put in a little shop. And that actually might be what I do down here. I did that at the Fens and I loved it. You came in and you shopped. But it's such a big area that I don't think I need the whole thing for the shop. So maybe I could stick a wall and a door right here to have a little living area and then your steps going up. I think that's probably what I will do. So steps. Only problem with this now is my steps are going to be way too far that way. So let's move this for now. Come on. Come over here. That's better. That'll give some more room to get upstairs. And I need my other ceiling piece here. see. That looks good. Hi there, Pukaki. Thank you for saying that. That's very kind. And if I said your name wrong, I'm sorry. I have a hard time with people's names sometimes pronouncing things. <laughs> I apologize if I got it wrong. Okay, what else do we want to do here? Um, I need to find a single... I don't think these come in small ones, do they? I might just change out these floors. I don't know. Let's see. If I put this little guy in. And that one. Is it lower? It is a little bit. It is a little bit lower. Um, let's see here. I gotta think about this. Oops, sorry if I hit my microphone. I was just hit my desk. Oh, does G2M have half floors? Let's look at that. I don't think I've ever memorize G2M. I should. Okay. Where is it? Am I out of USO? No. Construction. It would be in wood floors. It's taking a second to load everything. There's those. Oh, here we go. Ah! Cool. Now it'll be even with everybody. Just run the wrong direction, but I don't care. That's all right. Um, the other thing is, what's going to happen with my wall when I put it here? Hmm. I don't know. Let's find out. I'm going to get out of G2M. Go back to where it was. Okay. 
Let's see. Let's just start putting them in and see. So it's going to leave a little sp space there, is it? I'm just going to do this back wall right now so I can get this. I wonder if I could just stick something in there. I know, I bet I probably could. Just to make it look like this. And I don't know if I have any wall gap fillers anymore. Because I got rid of some of my mods uh, that were really bogging down my game. But look at that. That looks pretty cool. And you're never going to see it from back here because, oh my gosh. Look, that's not bad. I'll go with that. That works. Back up. This side over here, I want to put like a little porch looking area with one of these. So I think it would be cool to have these little guys with the... Is it canvas? I don't know what you call that. Stick in there. And then I need to find these pieces and I forget where they are. Doesn't look like it's there. Half walls maybe? Hey look, that would have worked to fill in that spot, but we're good. Here we go. We'll make a less junky one on that side, I guess. It doesn't really matter. Cool. That looks good. Over here I'm going to do solid wall again. This will be probably where the kitchen area is up here. Out front I want to have a door with a little porch to make this area here a like a built-in porch too. So I think what a, what I'll do is do a full length porch up top. Where's my floors again? Oh yeah, the workshop rearranged. That's exactly where the fillers were. I don't have workshop rearranged anymore. That's what I got rid of. It doesn't play very well with USO. And Somebody told me that they patched it, but it still didn't work right, so I got rid of it. I liked USO a little bit better, so I kept it. Let's go back to my walls. And when I say I kept it, I mean I had to completely redo my game, so I started all over again from scratch. Because it's not very smart to just kind of whoop undo mods in the middle of a game. All right, I need to get this piece on here. Take that off. There we go. It's all about the order of things. This I need to put the door frame in, not that one. So I'm in the wrong place. Do they have them in here somewhere? I don't see them in there. Oh, would this be it? These don't snap though, which is a pain in the butt. But I didn't see them anywhere else. They weren't in walls and they weren't in door, fra door, door frames. These are all outer weird ones. No flat. I'm gonna go back to my regular. Um, The way USO works is if you have mods, they usually leave the mods where they were. Like in the vanilla. I don't I don't understand. But anyway. It's kind of weird. Here we go. Let's see if we've got one here. No, those are all little. It's cute. It would probably work, but that's not really what I wanted. Okay, well, that's not an option. So I'll just stick this one in here. Uh, where did it go? that one. I'll just pop it in myself. Let me turn. Do I have surface snapping on? I think I turned it off. There we go. That's better. That'll help. Whoops. Wrong one. I 
Oh my goodness, have it straight on one side, totally not straight on the other. That should be better, but I think I need to pull it out a little bit. Oh crap. There we go. It's a lot of fiddling. Okay, I don't like it. So, place everywhere is going to be what I'm using now, just to put it in place. That's looking good. Cool. Got it. Okay, so this will be a whole covered porch up here, which will look pretty cool. Um, the way that I did it before was I think I just put floor pieces up top here to use as my roof out here. And I liked how it looked, so I'll probably do that. We'll see. I just want to get the rest of this on. Um, and I don't know which way I should do it. Let's see. I know I want to put these roof pieces on here to give it a peaked look. But you see how they... Oh wow, you can see through it like crazy. So I'm thinking I'll put these on first. Come on. See how it's snapping and then it doesn't? <laughs> oh my gosh. Come on. There we go. Stick these on first and then put the little floor or roof pieces over it. Come on. What is this doing? What in the world? Why is it doing that? Did I have the wrong side? I don't think. I'm gonna fall off here. Just get on there. Come on. There we go. My goodness. So I'll do like I did in the barber shop, I think, and just kind of fix the roof a little better. So it's not so see through y. Is that right? Yes. Whoop! Fell off. Come on. Oh my goodness, that snapping's crazy. Here we go. Okay. So how did I fix it? Did I use... I could use this probably. I don't know. Maybe not. Let's just go back and do the flat roof piece. Where's that? Right here. Now this is going to be a trick. This is always like, it'll do it and then it won't. Right now it doesn't want to do it at all. Let me turn my surface snapping off. See if that helps. It wants to snap out there, but if that helps me get it to snap in here, I'll do it. What's it doing? Well, it's going to help me get my porch on the front, if nothing else. It's not going to help with the other thing. So let's just do this. There we go. I was hoping it would attach itself over there, but it didn't. What's it gonna do now? Is it gonna let me do it now? Nope. Okay. So for whatever reason, it won't let me snap them on. So let's see if I just move that. And snap that in there, and then jump up top here somehow. A little bit of fancy footwork there. Let's see if this lets me put it on. Now. Nope. It doesn't want to snap with that on there now. Which is really weird because it worked before. So, oh well. I'm gonna fall. Okay. So it's starting to look kind of cool. It'll look so much better when it's braced. And everything has its little braces, so it doesn't look like it's all just floating. But I'll worry about that later. Okay. What else do I want to do with this right now? I know I wanted to get this darn roof fixed, but it's not playing nice and I'm not going to worry about it right now. I'll just worry about it later. Let's put a little railing up here so people don't fall off. I would say this would be cool. Put up here. And I'll probably end up doing that right out here too. Might as well. OK. 
could probably fix this place to have a few people living here. We're running this farm rather than just one person. There we go. That's looking good. So let's see. Might as well put those beams in now. What beams would I like to use? Uh, where's my barn? I like the barn ones. They're really big. Are they in here? Yeah. Now, let's see. Surface snap. Only problem is, is they're kind of probably way too big, so I might not be able to go with them. Um, I'm going to have to turn my surface snapping back off again, because I'm going to place them myself. I just wanted to see if I could even get two right here. That it won't go through the floor. That's gonna go through the floor, isn't it? Ugh, I can't jump off. There we go. It does, but I could keep going with it to do that, which is what I need to do down here anyway. So I think I could get away with it there for sure. Let's see, what can I do here? I wanted to put... A beam, but I wanted it to go over here. Let me move this step. Let's see if that'll let me put it over here in the corner more. It doesn't, so I'll put it there myself. Turn both of these. There we go. Whoops! Oh my goodness. I think I'm stuck. There we go. Right about there is where I'm thinking on either side that I want this to go. See here. Let's move that one out a little. Okay, so I'll turn my snapping back on. Let's see how we do here. I think this is gonna work. I hope. Probably should have worked from the top. Oh, I can't get in here. There we go. Shoot, I should have gone from the top. Let me refix this. Look at this. Because if you do it from the bottom, it's going to sit flush. Actually, if I do it from the top, it's going to go down through that, which works really well. So I'll just do that. Okay. What mods do I use? My mods are listed in the description of all of my videos, and I think I also have them listed in the description of this stream as well. Tricky part is, where the heck is this thing at down here? <laughs> I can't tell now. I think, am I right above it? So, I want post to be right here, I think. So let's try from here. See how that does. Okay. Here's hoping. It's as far as I can reach there. It goes off the side a little bit. I don't have a problem with that. I think that's going to be fine. I need one more here though. It's going to let me... I'll just fake it. It's not going to let me snap it, so I'm just going to put it in there myself. Not bad. Needs a little straightened out. About like that, I'd say. It's pretty good. Okay. That's looking pretty cool. So I'm going to go back up there and do the same thing. I hope I can get it. So if I did it right there, kind of between those two, we should be good. Right here. Okay. I want to make sure I'm getting it kind of straight. That should do it, I hope. Maybe I've got to come this way a little bit more to the left. Let's go one more time. Okay, let's see how this does. Uh, 
That's not bad. I don't think I need another one. That's pretty cool. This one here is a little bit further turned, I think, is the only problem. I think it's just turned a little bit. But you can barely tell. And I don't think I'm going to worry on that. So now I just need to do this last post up here to come off the corner. So... I might extend this little porch here too. But I'll do that in a minute. Steven, do you play with a controller or do you play with the mouse and keyboard? Alright, let's see. Okay. Hi, Sarah. Thank you. I appreciate that. I have seen those that master plan series. I don't use it, though, because um, I've read that some of the mods that I like don't play well with it. And I don't want to mess up a lot of what I've done. So I'm not going to use it, but I have definitely heard of it. Okay, let's just add this last little floor piece here so we have a little bit of a better sized porch on this. When I did this house at my Fens settlement, I did it a little bit shorter than this. This house is, I think, one block bigger. Okay, let's put that step back. Let's go back here. See what it's looking like. Oh, we're in the shade again. We fixed that here. Should be able to get to it quickly. There we go. Better. Look at that. That looks so cool. I need to support this little guy here. So I think I'll just use the same things that I've used. Whoops. I gotta get back to the barn. That was our unit? No. There we go. Okay. So I'm thinking, would the long one work? It would work here better. So one on each end should be all that we need to support this thing. I would think that's good. Place it so I can see what I'm doing. Your console? Yeah, I play on PC, but I use uh, the Xbox 360 controller. Um, the, I don't like mouse and keyboard for some reason. Most things I will play with this. If I can't, like Minecraft, I do use mouse and keyboard. The Sims 2, of course, mouse and keyboard. Everything else is controller for me. I don't play a lot of like those crazy shooter survival games, so I don't need to like turn really fast and shoot something. So uh, if, if I turn slowly, that's okay. <laughs> it doesn't bother me. There, that looks good. All right, why don't I go back out here again? Look at it. Oh yeah, that's looking really cool. So I need to put in my door piece over here too. Because I haven't put it in yet because I have to do it myself. But I wonder what it would look like if I did one of those outer door pieces down here. I don't know and I want to look and see. Um, Where are they? In the walls. Uh, this. Let's see what happens if I stick one of these. But which one? That one there has the corrugated metal. That's got I don't know what. I wonder if the corrugated metal would look better. That's not too bad. Let me try that and just see. I might not like it at all. Because of the porch. Yeah, I don't like that. I'm just going to put in my little piece that I have to place myself. That's okay. Yes, aiming with a mouse. I totally agree. I, when I first got Fallout 4 on PC, I tried for like a couple of weeks to play it with mouse and keyboard. 
I just could not. I could not stand it. I did not like it one bit. So I got my old 360 controller out. It's wired even. <laughs> I got that baby out. I've been using it ever since. It gets a little squeaky sometimes because it's so old. You probably can hear it in some of my videos. But I just put some felt on it to try to quiet it down a little bit. <laughs> it works enough for me. Okay. I think that's good. The door's on there. Um, now we just need to put our regular doors on. Let's see. Oh, Sarah, you were having trouble too using that master plan? Yeah. Hopefully you can get it figured out. I don't know if there's patches or anything. I haven't looked into it too terribly much because I just knew it wouldn't work. Okay. Let's put this little wall here to separate everybody. Um, let's see. Probably at this area. Right at the steps is where I'm wanting it to go. Come on. I just want to turn it a little. That should work. Now I'll put in that little doorway again. This is starting to come together really nice. I'm liking how it's looking. My weather is so crappy again. I'll fix it here in a sec. Did I get that on there right? Let's see. Oh, totally not. Okay, that's probably good. I may just raise it one. I had to do that with the wall next door because you could see a crack over it. That's good. That works. So this area right here, this will be our little bait shop, fish shop, whatever you want to call it. Put some stuff in here. That'll look kind of cool. This will be the beginning of the living area for the people that live here. Maybe down here we could just do like an open living room. I'm thinking out here I'm going to put an outhouse for them so I'm not going to do a bathroom in here. This would be really cool to have little beds in there. We're going to pretend that the rain doesn't come in so they won't get wet. Over here will be the kitchen area. So I'm thinking everything up here is just going to be open. I like that idea. I could stick a bed or two over here, maybe, too. Maybe this is a family that lives here, and the kids have their little single beds there, and Mom and Dad have their bed out here somewhere. If I can get the room, get you know, get enough room to put all that, I would do that. Then put a little kitchen and seating area over there. This is a cool little porch to have some chairs. Let's fix this weather while I'm at it. They can sit here and look at the island, look at the fish. You can even see them right now anyway, because it's highlighted. You can see the fish down in there. Look at the boats coming in and out. This is beautiful. I'd like to live right here. This is a nice view. Let's put the door on. Uh, where are my doors? I always forget. Here we go. Let's see, we'll do snapping. I don't know if it'll snap to this. I can't remember. Nope, it doesn't snap to that because that's not a snappable door. I kind of like a red door. That red's not so bright, so I may go with that. I can't tell with this door which way it opens, so I'll place it and test it, and if I need to, I'll turn it around. I can't see the hinges on it. Alright, let's see. That's good. That opens in. Looks like I need to adjust it, maybe. See how it's kind of going through the wall? If I can get it out a little further to the right, that would be better. Just waiting. 
The more mods you have, the longer it takes to get back into your build mode. Just a little bit of a pain. Here we go. Alright. I wonder if one is enough. If I go two, that doorknob's gonna go through that wall. So I'm gonna say that's good. I'm not gonna mess with it. Oops, can't get down. Gotta move this. I'll put the same door probably here, I guess. Or should I do this? I kind of like that. This will open out, I think. Or is it this? I can't tell where this thing at. Will that open in? I'm thinking that'll open out. This might open in. Let's try. No. Oh, good grief. I'm getting confused. Let's try it this way. Make sure it's straight. Come on. Okay, I think we're good. We try it. There we go. Opens in. Looks like it's good to me. We probably could go... Okay, it does need to go over, so... I need to go to the, to the right a little bit. We'll get a drink of water while I'm waiting. Okay. Let's move this thing with place everywhere just a little bit. Did it move? It's not moving. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, thank you very much. That's much better. That'll work. That's a good door to have to be able to see out. That's pretty. Right here then I'll go ahead and put that other red door like I have upstairs on the outside. I think that'll look good right there. Then we'll put in the outhouse. Then maybe we could do a little bit of decorating on it. I also wanted to run around inside the castle and maybe change out some of the walls, the solid walls, for some windowed walls. Probably we'll do that too. And if you want me to do the Wi-Fi glitch too, I can show you how to do that. If you would like to see it, just let me know in chat and I'll do that too. If not, I'll just do that behind the scenes. Yeah, I need to move it. It's hard to tell with these things. Whoops. Let's go back. Now, let's get in there. Okay, here we go. So I need to go to the right, I think. One is about all I can do. So it'll go right through that wall. Okay, that'll be good. Let's go outside and put in an outhouse. Probably right here would be a good place for it. Oh yeah, and I wanted to put a railing around that too so people aren't hurting themselves. So, what should I do first? Um, I think I'll just put my outhouse out before I forget. The Wi-Fi glitch is the, um, I don't know what he called it. School Zone did a video on it a few weeks ago. He got some suggestions from people that watch his videos about a glitch that you can do to make things look like they're wired. Like, not wired, I mean. So he started calling it the Wi-Fi glitch, and it's really cool and it's really easy to do. You can put your lights out, and you don't have to worry about having um wires everywhere because i hate how wires look in places like this the way it was the castle with all the wires in it was horrible i can't find my my uh outhouses so i'm going back here 
Oh, where in the world are they? Gotta remember. It's not under wood, I don't think. No. So it has to be over here under USO somewhere. I uh, can't remember where though. Barn. Oh, here we go. I just didn't go far enough. Do I want a red barn? Or bathroom? Where do I want to... I probably want this color. Not with holes. Like that. That would work. Ooh, an outhouse underneath the kids' bedroom? Oh, that's a bad idea. Let's go over here. This will be a little bit better. <laughs> Let's just put the outhouse over here. Okay, that's good. Now we need to find... Where's the base at? Did I go past it? I think I must have. There we go. Pop that in there. Now my door. Pop that in there. Do we need a step? Probably. So let me move that and put a little step in there. I have not built at ten, 10 Pines Bluff yet. I don't know. I have it as a settlement, but I don't know if I want to build there. I saw Oxhorn did a video once on it. He did pretty good building there. There was a lot more room there than it looks like. And this one mod that I have actually makes settlement sizes a little bit bigger anyway, so I might try it sometime. Let's see. Turn that off and try to get it in here. As far as my thoughts on Fallout 76, I'm very excited. Kind of cautiously optimistic, I guess. Um... I've been watching some of the stuff that the people got to do when they went to the press event at the Green Bar last week. By the way, I live an hour from there, so it's kind of cool that this next game is going to be... I wanted to do this. It's going to be in my neck of the woods. So I'm interested to see what it looks like. Like, what does the Green Briar look like after the war, that type of thing. Um, I don't like the griefing. I'm worried about that. I don't want someone to be able to destroy what I've just built either. That worries me as well. So I guess we'll just have to try it and see. Um, I signed up for the beta so I'll get to start trying it here. October 30th I think is when it comes beta for PC. So I'll be trying it for sure to see what I think. Eventually they're saying they would like to let people have their own servers. If that is the case, I want my own server so that I can do my builds and do my playing and stuff without having to worry about people trying to kill me and destroy my stuff. Because it sounds like yeah, they can do that. Okay, I'm up here on this cool porch because I want to put some kind of a bench or something out here. Maybe a couple of them. Um, seating, I guess. There we go. I kind of like these backless benches. Might do that. What else do we have? Oh, a stadium bench. That looks kind of new, doesn't it? Church pew. What's that? A bus stop bench. I don't want those. So I guess I'll just do that backless one. I like how that looks. And maybe we could put a couple of those comfy back chairs just sitting around too. The lawn chairs, where would that be? Out here? There we go. Gotta have these out here. Nice relaxing chairs. Is that good? Could go closer that way. I'm not going to decorate everything completely because I want to save some stuff for when I do the decorated tour at the end. Which is coming very, very soon because this is probably the last thing I wanted to build here at the castle. So I'm going to be working really hard this coming week to get this all decorated up. 
I'm finished for the tour. Can you see any of my cool lawn stuff out here? No. That's all right, I guess. Look how nice that looks. That looks so cool. It's looking pretty neat. Let's put a chair out here, too. People can come and sit and talk. There we go. That is really good. Okay, so as far as the shop, I want to put out the shop counter. We're gonna have to go with just a trader, I would think. Um, I don't know if I could put these down right now though. I don't have local leader two, so I don't think I can. So I can put the dummy stores out and worry about the thing I need to do later. So I can put them out. Here we go. Let's do a longer one. Like that. Oh, see how not straight that is? Okay, let's try. Try that again. You think it looks straight one place, but it's not. Yeah, I don't understand that whole camping thing. That's part of the thing that worries me about the building in 76. But when you look at some of the pictures and things that they've done, there's like huge buildings and everything else. So I don't, I don't know. I don't know what to think about it. I'm going to put a cash register out. And there's one that's really cute in Creative Clutter. So I'll go in there and find that one. Might take me a minute. What kind of concerns do you have about Fallout 76, Steven? Okay, maybe rooms? Where would it be? Here we go. Miscellaneous. I think it's under miscellaneous. I love these little bottle lamps. Little bottle plants or whatever you call them. Bottle plant. They are so cute. Let's just put one out. Here we go. This one. I like how it looks because it has the little bell and the caps stash thingy with it. Uh, I'm probably going to put it over here. That's good. Okay. As far as fish bait and tackle stuff, I don't know how I want to do it. I want to look at do it your shelf and see what kind of decorations they have there that might work kind of we could maybe get away with on this let's see i think it's under furniture do it yourself okay ammo and weapons armor clothing bathroom medical decoration factions food and drink kitchen library tools and components would probably be something we could use here. I wanted to see them up close. Like that. Maybe we could sell some stuff like that that people could make their tackle out of. Anything else? We could even put some of that type of thing out. Yeah, let's just do a shelf with it. What the heck? Let's do it right here, maybe. Because really, in this game, there's there's no tackle that you can sell. <laughs> we kind of have to pretend. Okay, so here will be the materials for making it. This other one, where to go? That one. Let's see. I don't think I want to use that one. So up here I could probably put some little bins and we could either pretend they're full of stuff or maybe toss a few things in there from OC Decorator. That would work. Uh, okay, where am I? Getting confused. I think it's... Would it be under decorations? Oh, maybe this. 
Yep. This is what I'm thinking. So... These little guys here are so cute. If I turn surp surface snapping off, I can kind of put them on there myself. And then with OC Decorator, I can probably stick a few things in them. You probably won't really be able to see them. Unless you're right up on it, just because of how big these are. But I could always size these down. I bet you that would look pretty cool. Then you can put your little components in there. Did I do four or three? I don't remember. I think I did three. I don't know, now it looks too big, doesn't it? it? Does look bigger. Okay, well, I'll just size that down again. Put it over here. I think they're floating. There we go. Oh, the human NPCs. Yeah, that kind of made me wonder why they decided to do that. They're saying every human you see is going to be a real player. So I'm going to treat every human player as though they're hostile. I'm not going to just walk up to somebody and be like, hey, you're friendly because they're going to shoot your face off, you know? <laughs> and then I'm going to get frustrated and not want to play. I like how they did it in USO, um, not USO, ESO, Elder Scrolls, where, like, they can't just come up to you and kill you. They have to ask you if you want to fight or duel or something. I always say no and just move on. Just, it's nice when you want to play it by yourself. You don't want people hitting you and killing you every five seconds. No Man's Sky is pretty cool, too, that you can turn the network off if you're building or something. If you turn the network off, then they can't come and shoot you in the face. Because they have done that to me. And it makes me so mad. And they can destroy your base too. So if you turn that network off in that game, you're perfectly fine. And even if they're standing there at the moment, shooting you in the face or destroying your base, if you turn the network off, they're automatically shot away from you. They're still on the planet, but they can't get near you anymore. That's pretty cool. That's, that's turned out to be quite great. For me. Because I've had several people ruin some of my builds acting that way when I'm trying to record so then I would have to stop what I was doing <laughs> and then when I discovered you could do that that made me very very happy all right let's just make this smaller stick that there okay whoops it needs to go down one more doesn't it there we go minecraft has private servers as far as I know I've never... Yes, they do have them. I knew I played on one before with a friend who doesn't play Minecraft anymore. It's been a while. Um, but that is wonderful. Those You can set it up to be a survival world or you can do a creation world. And we did a creation world and it was so much fun. There we go. I think that's good for that shelf. That top one there, I'll probably end up just putting some little miscellaneous de decorations on there. So that works. Now there are these cool little t like shopping... These! I can't believe I found them that quick. Oh my gosh, that never happens. These little tables here, I want to put out in here because we can make it look like there's fish in them. I need to take a drink because I'm about to cough. Oh my goodness. Hey Mike, good to see you. You can ignore people fighting you until you fight back. Oh, okay. Gopher. Oh, I didn't watch Gopher's review. I watched him talking about something after the review. I can't remember what I watched. Oh, I think it was a 4K rant. <laughs> you know how Gopher likes to rant. Um, I watched that, but I'll have to go back and look at his review and see that guy griefing with the axe. I couldn't believe those guys were up there. I was so 
tempted to drive up to the Greenbrier to try to meet them. Oxhorn and Gopher and all of them, you know? I love those guys. They're what really got me into wanting to play Fallout 4 building and things. So, but I figured I'd probably be freaking them out, you know, running up there and fangirling at them. So I did not. <laughs> but Gopher knew that I knew he was there. He saw one of my tweets. <laughs> <laughs> or my replies to is one of his tweets, I guess it is. Okay. That's cool. See, when you come in here, it almost looks like that could be like live bait or something in there. Which is kind of neat. I like that. I need to change my time again. It's getting a little bit dark in this corner. Ooh, now the weather's bad, so let's fix that. Okay, what happened here? Oh, we're inside, that's why. Okay. This is a good start for the store. I think the rest of it I'm going to let you all imagine <laughs> and wait for the tour, show what, you, what it looks like there. Um, do I want to decorate up here? I could at least put the beds in, make sure <laughs> I can get with the beds in where I want them to be. So, beds. They have kids' beds somewhere, I thought. I need to find those children's right there. Okay. I like to give my kids blankets. I like to give most of my people blankets in these games. It just feels wrong to make them sleep on a dirty mattress, you know? Okay, there's their little beds. Probably stick some cute little toys or a trunk here for them. Those fit nicely in there. I like that. Oh, I agree, Sarah. I hope they do stand by that. Um, I'm afraid, though, that people are going to like to get hunted f for, you know, trying to shoot you in the face. I'm just so afraid that they're going to be like, oh, this is so awesome. I'm going to shoot those, these people and then all these people will come after me and then I'll shoot all those people. You know how people are. <laughs> are there double beds in this? Oh, I thought that there were in USO. Maybe not. Pillows and cushions, mats. Um, there's double beds over in where is it? Creative clutter. I might just look there and see if I can stick one of those beds in. Penalty for griefing is 50 caps, but you have hundreds. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Okay. We want furniture. And beds. These beds are kind of cool. I like dog meat's bed too. That's pretty neat. I don't think I'm going to use it here, but I like how it looks. Okay, where are the beds? This one would probably be good. I like the pillows on it. Makes it look like it's a double. This is definitely a double. That's really big. And then we have this little guy here. Did Red Dead Redemption come out already, Krish? I was watching some stuff on it, but I never paid that much attention to see when it was coming out. What bed do I want, though? This here just looks a little too... Well, no, it's not as clean as I thought. That might work. That could work. Only problem I have now is having mom and dad sleeping right exactly beside the kids. No privacy. You know what I mean? So. What do I want to do? Gotta think. 
know what I could do, which might be a little mean, but I could make these into a little room. Each of these little spots. So I don't know if the kids could get to the bed. I'm probably not even going to be able to have kids out here anyway, so why don't I just do what I want to do and build these in? <laughs> See how this works. Oh. Oh, you get nuked? That's kind of neat. Okay, why can't I get out of this? Oh, I'm out of it. Good grief. Okay. I'm going to put those little wall thingy, door thingies in that you can't really snap. Will this work? Or... No, I know what I want to do. Get out of USO. And I want to use this over here. These little guys. Because they snap right in. So if I get it to snap where I want it to snap, I'll probably just put, put it in there. Come on. Where are you snapping? That one's good. This one I'm just going to... Do like that so I can get it in. There we go. Now I can put the half wall like this. Then the kids have their bedroom. It's kind of a tight fit, but whoops, let me try moving it this way. Like that. I guess that one's over as far as it goes, isn't it? Okay. There we go. Now the kids have their own little private rooms. Mom and Dad can sleep out here in the main room and not have to worry about them bothering them too much at night. So let's pop doors in here. Where are my doors? Let's look at these. Are there any doors in this? No. Not good ones. All just modded ones I don't need right now. Oh, okay. Red Dead's not out yet. I think that'll look pretty cool. I used to like to watch Western movies. It's been a long time, though, that I've watched any of them. But I used to be a big fan of that kind of genre. I've never played one of the games myself, though. You know what I might do? Take this out and just put another half wall piece in there and just let them share a room. Uh, I think I need... Why does that look like it's going through the floor? Maybe it's not. I don't know. It's snapped right in there. Let me get back out here and put this on. So this the kids will just share a room with one door rather than two. Um, I wonder if I should just leave this as a door over here, though. Hmm. Let me put this back in. Change my mind here. Put the door right there. Change that to another wall. There we go. That's better. Then we'll have mom and dad's bed right here. That's much better. I like that. That works. Oh, you know, Craig, what you're saying about that for the 12 to 15 year old market. It's like Fortnite. I can't get into that game. I even downloaded and tried playing it for a while. But there are so many kids in that game. And I like to watch Dr. Disrespect on uh, Twitch. And he kind of said the same thing when he was at that EA conference. I think it was this spring or something. He said that's just... He tried, he just can't stay in it because there's so many kids, it's just a whole different demographic. Not what he's interested in, really. I mean, yeah. I hope it's not like that for crying out loud. Oh, probably will be. So I'm going to call this done right now. I'm going to finish the rest of the decorating on this house off camera so it'll be ready for the tour. But I like how it looks. I want to use my jetpack here so we can get up and see a little better from here. I don't know what it looks like. Look at that. Oh, I fell in the water. Oh, jeez.
Good thing I didn't fall in the middle. I probably never would have gotten out. Okay, let's try this again. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Yeah. I love that roof too. It looks so good. That looks really cute. That's a good house. Okay. So, I guess I'm just gonna fly up here rather than running all the way back around. And maybe I can kind of change out some of these. I've had some suggestions from some of the viewers that they'd like to see some more windows in the castle. I have a few here and there. So, I might run around and do that for a little bit. But here's what it looks like from the top. That looks pretty cool. I'll get it all lit up too. And that'll look so cool at night. That'll be really pretty. So, I'm gonna go in these and do a few things then. So this here is one of the almost fully decorated barracks that I have for the Minutemen. I haven't done everything I wanted to do in here. But I was wondering if maybe sticking a couple windows, like maybe one right here looking out. Oh look! What a great view, huh? So let's get rid of that wall. And put in a little window. Okay, it's gonna take me a minute to find these because I can't remember what I used them from. I know it was, I think it was USO something. Okay, let's see. It was not concrete. I don't think it was this. It's been so long since I did these castle walls that... Oh, I didn't even want to think about it for a while because that was a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of building. I don't think it was under this. Oh my gosh. Where did I get them? It's not SOE. It's not snap and build. I know it's not under the miscellaneous tabs. Oh, I gotta think here. It could be this. Um, not sure. Those are floors. That's not gonna work. But I want to see if they had anything else at the end of it here. Because see all the castle stuff? But they're all floors. Not there. Okay, let's try walls. Maybe they're there. These Nuka World walls are so huge and so cool. I was considering putting them around the outside of my castle to begin with, but I didn't want to block off the view of all the water and the islands and everything. This might be where I got it from. Might be. Nope, because there's no castle walls in that. So it wasn't this. Oh, you can move your stuff you built. Oh gosh, that's awesome, Wayne. I didn't know that. Thank you, Sarah. I appreciate that. Okay, guys. I don't know. I don't know where I have my stuff. I did this months ago. And then I swore I'd never touch the walls again because I got so tired of the walls. Alright, let's see. Not there. Maybe retextures. Stone. Castle. No, this isn't going to be it either, I don't think. Yeah, it's just these big ones. Not what I wanted to use. Here we go, found it. Retextures. Stone, castle stone. Here we are. Oh my goodness. So we have to do with this is build your own walls. So what I did was I put in this doorway. It doesn't snap. Pain in the butt. And it runs a different direction too, but that's okay. 
No biggie. Um, you put in your doorway, which is, this is kind of cool because I've got this little half wall right here. This will kind of make a window. See? This makes a little window, not a big long one like I have been making, so I may take that half piece out of there. I think I put it in there because I had a gap. Because this window is going to be so different from everything else. Mm. I like it, but I don't like it in the fact that all my other windows are different. And I don't want too many different kind of windows, so let's just take... Let's see. Um, I gotta think about this for a minute. This, this just doesn't seem like how I made my windows. Oh my gosh, I gotta go look. Let's see, where do I have a window? I know I've got one over here. I forget now how I did it. Did I just do two half? I did. I did two half walls to make my big long windows. That's exactly it. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, let's just do another half wall there then. Like that. There we go. Much better. There we go. Awesome. I wish that the vanilla game of Fallout 4 had a kind of system that you could put stuff in favorites. You know, somebody said there's a mod that that you can use to do that, but oh my gosh, I have enough mods. <laughs> and it probably wouldn't work with what I have. There we go. So there's a window. The nice view out. So we'll probably do one this way. Yes, that would be a good view. I don't want to do one that's just facing like the castle or something. Probably. I'm thinking outside windows would be good. I want to make sure, too, that I'm not getting it through my beds I have here. Yeah, this one needs pushed out a little bit. There we go. And let's just stick that one in there. Um, this I'm going to probably have to put a little higher. See that hole over there? Could just be that it's crooked as all. There we go. That's pretty good. That's the tricky part about just placing these in, trying to get them straight. And fill all the holes. I need to go to the right, so I'm just going to use place everywhere. There we go. Okay. So, I'm thinking, so we've got one on that side, one on this side. Do I need one over here? I don't know. Let me go out. I don't think I'm going to do one over here. I think the two outer corners over there are pretty good. Over here, this is our blacksmith shop. And I've got a window there. I don't know. Since this is one level, I'm probably not going to put another window on that one. I like this little overlook here. Okay, so that's fine. This one is the other barracks. Almost looks exactly the same as the one across the way. So we can put some windows here. Well, yeah, and I could show you while I'm at it. The bathroom. There's a bathroom beneath each of them. Pretty cool. Of course, I'm not going to put a window in this because I've got everything already put out. But now I forget which direction I came in. Okay, so we're going to want a window over here. What was clamped to it? Uh-oh. Maybe a decoration or something. That's okay. 
As long as it wasn't my ceiling or roof, it took me forever to put together. There we go. We have a pretty nice view there, too. Alright, did I get that? No, I did not get it straight. To the left. Let's keep going. How's that? That's good. Top one. Top one needs to go to the right. Maybe to the left. <laughs> Went a little too far. That's good. Now, we get to this side again, and I don't think we just jump down here. There's my animals. I don't think I was going to put one on this side. get on this roof here. I didn't do one on that side. Oop! Fell off. But I've got one there. So that means that one has one in the front. That's probably all I want to do right there. That there I'm going to have some people standing up there. Okay. Oh! I found my other settler. Actually she just showed up again. I had a missing settler for a while, this lady. I could not, for the life of myself, find her anywhere. And one day she just reappeared and started working again. So, I'm assuming she was stuck somewhere. And finally was able to get loose. This here, I don't have any windows. And I'm not going to put windows because, see, this is where we're going to have all our prisoners. We already have a lady in here. She's not really assigned here, but she's kind of stuck. So that's okay. That works. But these little things here are from a mod and they just kind of denote where people would be sitting and standing and stuff. So if I can get some people in here, that's what's going to happen. Oh, look at you. You're standing here trying to look. Should I put a window here? I should. Okay. Look at her. Or him. I think it's her. Standing here trying to look. Yeah, I'm fixing you a window. This would be another spot for guards. A really good spot to put... Look at that. That looks so cool. That, of course, I'm getting rid of. That's just temporary right now. I have it on so I can try to get some settlers in here. Let's lower that down just a little. And this one to the right. That should do it. Well, that's cool. I like that she was standing there, so I could see. Over here, this is kind of a storage area. When you come down here, this is my office right here. So I figure that people are going to be coming in and out of here a lot. So I'm just going to do storage because upstairs is a lot of storage. Someone had given me the idea of just putting some more ammo and stuff in here. And I think I'll do that. So probably no windows there. I, I don't think I want... I guess I could put a window just to have a window out looking out that direction. Probably it wouldn't hurt. If I can get to it now. But all of my supplies in here are just going to be showing out from outside. I guess it doesn't matter. Okay. I just can't see what I'm doing with all this stuff. Uh-oh, my cat's awake. Is she going to start screaming at me? There we go. Probably, oh my gosh, so much stuff in here. Probably need to go to the right a little bit. I'll try one. Two. Needs one more. Okay, window down here. I may just go right, right below this and stick that other window. Down there. Okay, we gotta go this way. Sorry, Steven, I missed what you meant. What do you mean by you'll find out in six hours? Are you talking about something with Fallout 76 or something else? I think I missed it. Oh my goodness. That's not where I thought it was. Okay, that looks good. So, if I go down, I need to be aiming at that window or that wall. Yeah, this one. So right there, I think.
Is there anything any of you can think about that I could put in all these long corridors? I'll show you in a second what I'm talking about. I don't know what to do other than just put some lights in there to light up the corridors for everybody that's patrolling around here. Let's see. That's probably good. We'll go with that. Like, see all these long corridors here? I want to stick a, a window here and there in them, like probably one here. But I don't know what to put in here, and I don't... I don't think I can really build much of anything in here, so I haven't really tried because these floors are so in not straight or not flat, I guess is the word I'm looking for. They're not flat, so I can't really build anything. There's no room. But I was wondering if I just put in some guard stations and be done with it, or... Is there anything else you think that we could stick along here? Any kind of a decoration? I don't know. We're gonna see how high I am. Look, I'm right up against the ceiling. Let's do... Let's do another one, like, right here, maybe? Yeah. So let me know if you think of anything. Whoop, oh my goodness. Okay. Most of these walls that I built in the towers, I had to just kind of piece together. That's why it took me so long, because some of the angles were so weird, you can't snap them. Oh. It was very tough. This is not working right here. It must not be as straight as I thought. Okay. Wire fence windows in the prison? That's kind of a good idea. I was also thinking though, give them a window so they can look out and, and enjoy the view? Nah, I don't know. I want them to be miserable in their prison. They did bad stuff to get there. <laughs> hey Batman, good to see you. Okay. I'm not going to put windows facing inside. There's really no need. I just like them on the outside. Here's a bathroom that does have a window because I put one in before I started decorating. So that's one there. So I'm back to where I started, I guess. So I guess I could go back out here and add a couple windows this area. Now we're back on the water side here. It'll be nice to be able to take out these loud generators. Like that one I can hear below at the water plant. I won't have to have it there when I get the Wi-Fi glitch done. Looks like it's gonna rain again or something. Oh cool! You get it tonight! Yeah, I knew- I saw something that said if you pre-ordered by a certain time, you would get it. I forgot about that. That's pretty cool. Yeah, you'll have to let me know what you think about it after you're in there monkeying a little bit. Uh, the first thing I want to do when I get out of the vault is run straight for the Greenbrier and see what it looks like in the game after it's been destroyed by the bombs. Because I'll tell you, that is a beautiful place in real life. So I want to see what they did to it to make it all post-apocalyptic. I think it'll be kind of cool. That's if I can get there without getting murdered. <laughs> okay. Oh, not okay. Look at that. I love Place Everywhere. I tell you, I love it. That's my most favorite thing ever. And if they ever stop updating it, when, for Fallout, when every time we get, you know, an update, you have to update place everywhere. I'm going to be so sad. Alright. There's my main window there. So I think maybe I've gone all the way around. Nope. Missed this one. 
So we'll do one here. I want to add rabbits. And I was going to put a fence for the rabbits, but there's really no room for a little fence for just the rabbits. So I might just stick the rabbits in there with everybody else. Uh oh, there's my cat. Hi, baby. What are you doing? She's fussing. You'll probably hear her. She's in most of my videos. Okay. Here we go. Oh, someone said paintings. Yeah, we could definitely put paintings in the corridors. That would be kind of cool, wouldn't it? It would be neat to put kind of Minuteman propaganda and Minuteman paintings in there. I have the mod that, um, what's his name? Uh, it was Evil Viking, now it's something else. I have, Ranger Dave, I have his mod for the Minuteman propaganda. I really like a lot of those paintings and stuff that's in there. So I could do that for sure. Plus this is all going to be lit up. So you're going to be able to actually see when you're walking through here at night. Okay, that's good. So maybe... This is such a long... Oh, hello. Jeez, scared me. This is a long corridor, so I might do one there. And then do one there. So it looks like I have a ninth settler. I need to figure out where that person is and assign them if they haven't already assigned themselves. That person there assigned herself the guard duty, which was perfectly fine. I don't know. Maybe the other person did too. I had two people assign themselves to working in the gardens, which was fine. So I let them do that. Then Preston decided to start working in the gardens. So I have three people doing that. I did have a ghoul that came... To, he wanted to be a guard, but I put him in the weapons depot. He likes that. So he's down there chatting with Ronnie probably right now. Okay, that's good. Ronnie, you can't take her and put her anywhere, so she's pretty much the armory person. I was hoping to assign her somewhere, but I couldn't. Let's see. Those Brahmin, they drive me nuts with their breathing. I love them, but I can't stand to hear them breathing. That looks pretty good. That one fit in there a lot better because I had to I kind of half this wall. These was so, it was just half horrible, horrible building this castle. Hi there. Oh, thanks, Steven. I'm so glad you're going to keep me updated. I'm very excited to hear what you have to say about it. Let's see. Sarah, what did you say? USO has statues of the pre-war cannons, I think. I think it does. Yep. That would be kind of cool, wouldn't it? To have some of those in here. Um, that would be also a good idea to stick a couple of them down in the place where I'm going to put some more of the armory type stuff. More of the weapons and things. Oh, yeah. A smoke station or would be awesome at these windows. I need to find if I still have those. I Well, look at that. Somebody's standing there with a the gun through the wall. Who could that be? Is that my lady that's stuck in here? Yeah. That's alright. She can stay there. She usually gets in my way. Look at that. Oh, I love it. So perfect. But yeah, I used to have the smoking animation thing. If I don't have it, I'll go back and see what that mod was and get it again. Because I did like that. It was really cool have the little bit of different stuff people could be doing. Okay. I think that's it as far as putting in my windows. So I'll just go out this door here. And I want to change the time and probably fly around and see what it looks like. So let's change it back. I think I'll do 10 o'clock this time. Okay, toggle that free cam and take a look. See what it looks like. Of course, now it's going to start raining. Looks pretty cool. I like that. Those are spaced quite nicely. Um, this here, I feel like I need to put a window there. That's the prison tower. I don't have those even. Does it matter? Should I put them where they're even with each other? I don't know. 
I could probably put some there. Okay, I think I have more windows I need to put in. It's going to be tough. I'm not going to be able to get them exactly below each other because this... See, I had to build my walls differently, so that's not going to ever match up, which is okay. There's the window at the blacksmith shop. I've got two windows there. If I put a third, I don't think it would work. But maybe I could space it a little different. I think I have some more work to do on these windows, for sure. I almost feel like I just need to go ahead and put windows here, too. Hmm. <laughs> Not done with windows, people. Yes, a girl never tells her age. You will not hear it from me. Ever. <laughs> I like to keep people guessing. Okay. So. I might as well... Start right here, I think. Back over at the storage and fix that. I don't know. I might do that later. What time is it? I've got to be somewhere in a couple hours. It's almost two o'clock. Wow. This went really fast today. Let me just quit flying for now. And at least try to fix that one that was making me mad. Whoa, what the? Well. Okay. What are you doing? And how are you doing it? Was this where my storage is? No, that's the prison. Can't remember where storage is now. Probably went the incredible wrong way. Yep. I think it's over here. I hear you, kitty cat. I see a hole. I need to fix that real quick. I don't know why my kitty's hollering. She's not hungry. She probably thinks she is, but she's not. Okay. So it's pretty late for you in Germany already, is it? That's cool. Well, that's neat that you're watching from Germany. Okay. This. This is where I needed to be. So, how did I get that so, like, not above? From here, it looks like it is. That's weird. There's really nothing I can do. I can't change it from the way that is. So that's going to have to stay that way. But I feel like... Was it this way? Yeah. I need a window here, at least. Okay. And then we'll do one here. I won't make you watch me do any more of these windows. I think I've done enough of them for now. <laughs> but nobody answered me on the Wi-Fi glitch, but I think I'll do it anyways. Just to show you a couple of times. Maybe at least once, because I'd like to light up the cafeteria and stuff that I worked on on the last stream. Wow, this one's tough because I have so much stuff in front of it that I don't want to move. Oh, I need to go to the right. So I'll just use place everywhere. Good there. Needs to come back a little bit. Okay, there. That'll be it for the windows. So let me run down here and show you the Wi-Fi glitch real quick. All right, so you have to put your cord to your generator. Then you get out whatever it is you want to use to light up. Um. I'm probably just going to do one of those power conduits. And those are in here. With place everywhere, you don't have to stick it on a post or anything. Did I go past it? I think I did. Oh, you're in the UK, Craig. That's awesome. I don't think I'm in the right place. Okay, where are my conduits? Here we go. Good grief. So this I'm just going to stick in midair since I have a place everywhere I can. So, 
You go over here to your original cord, and you want to be straight behind it and kind of close to the connector and hit Y. And it takes a minute to, there we go, to get it. Once you've got it, you've got to go through this and it connects back here to this little guy. Now you can take this cord and scrap it. He is still powered. So I'm going to take him. Where did I want to put him? I think I need to go. See how the lights came on already in there? Isn't that cool? I got to go down here with him. I want to put him in here. Look at that. See how it's powered? It just lights it up. So I'm going to go in here and stick this somewhere. There's smaller connectors you can use, but what I'm going to do with these is probably hide them. Now see how it's not lit up now? It's too far away. But it should be lit up out here. Yep. And it's too far away from that. So you... Oh, it lit that one up though. Just didn't light that one up. So you just kind of have to put them around. Which is what I want to do. Is just kind of stick them. Then when I have everything all lit up and placed, I'm going to sneak them into the wall. Just use place everywhere to hide them in the wall. So that's what I'm going to do. But isn't that so cool that is the neatest trick ever and you don't have to have wires everywhere it makes me very very happy and my cat's very very upset she's hungry i guess she thinks she is so i'll do it again oops gotta do my glitch almost did the wrong thing i hear you kitty and there we go scrap it and take it. So cool. I love this. You, he, he also had in his video, I think he did a second video to show you kind of what you could do with it. Um, let's just stick this over here since that corner is not going to work. You could use those cycling lights because they have to be wired. Well, you can use the wire glitch on those cycling lights so you don't have to have a wire in it and use it, which is so cool. And I think that might look neat inside the place over here. So I'm probably going to do that. But see, I got this lit up by doing the wire glitch too. See, I have it stuck right there. I'll hide it later when I'm done. But yeah, that's probably about it. Oh, did you say no Pridwin? Yeah, I didn't do any of the Brotherhood of Steel stuff in this game yet. Since I'm doing Minutemen, I decided, no, not going to do it. So no Pridwin in this one. At the Nordhagen Beach build that I did, it was there. And it was really pretty to see it in the background. It was pretty cool. This little trick here, you have to make sure that you have a, an angle. You have to make sure you have it at an angle so you can see what you're doing. Get it attached. If it's at the wrong angle, it's not going to attach. So let's stick this right there for now. And that's lit up. Isn't that cool? I love it. Yes, this game here. I think that um, he said you have to keep this generator. Not this game. This little trick. But you can hide it underground. It's still going to get... If you get attacked, it's still going to get damaged most likely. But if you can put it underground... Maybe just have this little part sticking up so that you can at least grab it and fix it, put it back. So that's what I'm going to do. I might actually, since I built this, this little shed here, I might just... So oh, hello. She always gets her. He always gets stuck Don't in here. Don't care much for good neighbor. That place. Okay. Trouble. Yep, you're right. I'm probably just going to size this little thing down to stick it right in here. Because you can't get rid of your generator. The second you get rid of that generator, all your power goes away. So you have to keep it. But yeah, I think that's probably going to be it for today. I've got to get ready and get out of here pretty soon. I'm meeting someone and we're going to go have some food and go to a play and have a good time tonight. So that'll be it for today. That is pretty much it for this build of the castle. Right now, for the rest of the time, I'm going to be working this next week to get this thing fully decorated. So I'll finish my windows, get everything all decorated so I can record the tour. I'll do a recorded tour, not a live stream. So next Saturday, we're going to have to start another build, I would say. 
but I don't know where to where I want to build. I have County Crossing, Abernathy Farm, Sunshine Tidings. What else do I have? Ten Pines Bluff. Probably more. I think I have Starlight. Yeah. So I've got to decide what I want to do. What, where I need to build next. So I'll be thinking about that this upcoming week too. If there's any place that you want me to build at, let me know. And I'll see if I can do it. I may have to do a quest or two to be able to open up the place, but I think it'll be okay. I think I did, could do that. Yeah, Sarah, I see your comment there. That's exactly what I'm going to do with that little, with that generator. I'm going to make it small and stick it in that little workshop room that I built in right there. And then... It'll be perfect. I won't have to see it. Oh yeah, and when I built this little barber shop in the episode, I didn't know if barber shop would fit, but it did. It looks pretty cool. I love it. Okay, guys, that is it for today. Thank you for coming to the stream. I really enjoyed talking with everybody and getting to show you another build, and doing some things. So I'll see you all later. I hope you all have a nice rest of the day. Thank you so much for joining me. This was a whole lot of fun. Now remember, I'm going to be doing this weekly. Every Saturday, 12 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. I'll be here. If there's ever a time I can't, I'll let you know in, tw in Twitter. So go ahead and follow me on Twitter. I'll be posting my updates and schedules and things there. I also put things in my discussion tab on YouTube. But I don't think anybody ever looks at it. But if you want to know my schedule, it'll be there too. All right, guys. I'll see you all later. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye-bye.